This is a eight week old standard, meaning the large full size La Mancha buckling. And so you can see he's already pretty big. Uh, you know, I'm only 5'1", but he's already up to my knee um, at this stage. And so we're just gonna talk about, he has a twin brother. And so even if you wanted to retain one for breeding purposes or whatnot, you also have the thought maybe of let's try some of the meats. So say you have the mother and the two babies, um, or maybe you're gonna butcher both of them. He will have about 80% of his growth done by about nine months, but he'll have about 60% of his growth done at six months. So if he kitted in the spring, he could be butchered in the fall and he would produce enough meat for a family uh, for, for a time to know if it's something they want to do again. Is this, is this uh, something that's palatable? Can we cook it? Do we like it? Can we harvest it? Do we have help harvesting it? Do we have a place to take them to be harvested? So don't, if you're thinking you want to try meat, don't be so caught up on breed as well. Even with the full dairy kid, you have some good size on your initial growth. So what's gonna happen that 60% that up to six months, that growth, that's really gonna be hardy and hefty. And if you um, look at our other babies, they're all pretty pudgy at this point once they start eating. And they don't start getting long and lanky again until that nine month mark. And then when they start really getting their height on them after that. Okay, this is Savannah, and she is one of our yearling dolings, and she does not have any horns. And you'll notice she has these nice kind of giraffe pauled bumps. She's naturally pauled. She has not been dehorned. We don't have any dehorned animals on this property, and we don't do any dehorning. Um, some people don't even realize that most breeds of goats actually come also in naturally pauled. Um, we do not suffer from any hermaphroditism due to um, goats being pawed. This is kind of another one of those common myths where people think that if they have pawed goats, all of their babies will be hermaphrodites. Well, I've had three hermaphrodite uh, goats in my time of having goats over the years, and none of them had any pawed genetics. And yet I've had lots of pawed goats, specifically breeding pawed to pawed and not had pawed hermaphrodites. Why do we not disbud? Number one, we feel like from a holistic mindset and trying to balance the goat and have the goat living as naturally as possible, we need to keep the sinus completely intact. And the goat's sinuses go all the way up into their horns. And so you might say, well, what about this goat that wasn't born with horns? Well, that's what these bumps are. This is the end of her sinus cavity. Your sinus is part of your um, body's defense and part of your immune system, and it what's, it's what keeps the brain safe. So we believe it's best to keep the sinus completely intact the way it was at birth. And um, as far as common reasons for uh, disbudding. People do it because they're using the inappropriate fencing. Possibly the goat can get the head and the horns through one direction and then become stuck going another. If we have an instance where we need to use a piece of fencing that's not goat appropriate, we will add two inch chicken wire or two by four wrapped wire or welded wire just to use it um, for a moment. None of our permanent goat fenced areas have um, fencing that adult goats with horns can get their head through and become stuck. Other people are frightened of the horns. We have never had accidents because of the horns. Horns do not cause aggression in goats. Um, I have felt some, I have found that some of my bossiest, meanest does were some of my original stock box that I bought in, you know, over 10 years ago, uh, that were disbutted. So they, did not have horns, but yet they still were showing aggression. So the aggression correlation with horns is not actually accurate either. Um, and then additionally, I have gotten a horn to the face accidentally. Did a goat put a horn in my face purposefully? No, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time and we bumped into each other. I can assure you though, their horns are, are firmly attached to uh, skull and sinus, so they don't want to hit things with the tip of their horns. They're not looking to spur or poke or point. Um, when they do head butting, they're doing this at the, the, the front of their skull um, with each other. And a lot of that is more posturing than anything. Um, I have small children around my goats with horns. I've never had a horn injury because of that. If your goat with a horn would injure your small child, they're not suitable whether the horns are there or not. 
Um, small children and livestock should always be watched regardless of if they have horns or not. Here is another example of a pa naturally pawed goat and so we'll show you how her skull structure is with her pawed bumps. <laughs> 